I'm Sir Tap Tap, and I have done the impossible. Or maybe not that quite exaggerated, but um, you'll notice here I have DC vitality. That means I got the frickin' ridiculous, seemingly impossible pink tree coral. Um, I really do think the creators and the new features since the expand update um, have made most of the difference. As you can see here, I have about uh, plus 600% vitality purely from the craters. I also upgraded my Song of the Moon, that's max delicious food, 21, 21, Mystic Shell level 20. Um, yeah, I it's finally possible now. It'll still take a while, but uh, with the daily pearls and stuff, it's a lot less impossible than it used to be. And also, I've noticed, as you can see, I'm already at DD. Um, I have here a Facebook post I made just two days ago um, where I was only at CV. So I've been going at a rate of like three, four letters a day. And um, it's been quite impressive. So I'm expecting DL Vitality for the, the last set of fish is actually just maybe a few weeks after getting CS. The difference between the orange blade coral and the pink tree coral, um, even with all of the new updates, it's been, I think, over a month. Um, it's been it's been pretty rough, but um, people upgrade. You know, if you have if you started the game with all of the new features, you'll get here faster than I did. Because you know, I've been playing when uh, when we didn't have craters and all the new fancy stuff. So uh, let's take a look at the new fish. Um, oh, stupid photo quest! Note note that the photo quest is less than a billionth of my current vitality. They're just totally pointless at this point. Um, I'm unfortunately using the mouse, which is so slow. Um, I don't know why it doesn't like increase your acceleration. There's the blobfish. <laughs> blobfish, I'm assuming, is going to be most people's favorites of the CS fishes. Um, there's the uh, sea pig. The sea pig is also oh, the sea pig is also very good. Did you know that if you take a picture, you can freeze frame it like this? I, I've mentioned this in a couple other videos, but it's it's pretty nice if you want to get a very specific shot. So yeah, there's the sea pig, and there's down there at the bottom you can see the pink tree coral. I really like the pink tree coral. Um, they're nice and big, they're uh, pink, they're trees, they're coral, you know, all of the good things. Look, <laughs> there's, there's my hatchet fish over there. Uh, let's see how they're doing. The hatchet fish swim way too closely. Like, look, they're inside of each other. The, the AI for the fish's schooling is kind of ridiculous. Also, I must say, the, the CS Vitality fishes are really good as far as fish are concerned, but the actual visual representation in game is really not great. So what's cool about the hatchet fish is that it's an abyssal fish. All of the CS fishes are abyssal. They're, you know, deep sea fish, uh, very little light. So what the, the hatchet fish is famous for is it has bioluminescence on its bottom. So the way deep sea fish kind of predators kind of work, they look up and if there's fish, it's kind of a little bit darker. So they go and attack the dark spots. What hatchet fish do is they glow just a little bit on the bottom so that they blend in with the light from above. So they're really cool. And generally, I really like bioluminescent fish. It's one of my, it's one of the coolest adaptations of uh, deep sea life. And it's so weird that this game has so little bioluminescence. There's really just the football fish and the little glowy uh, whatever coral. Uh, it's kind of disappointing. Also, here's the uh, ridiculous frickin' um, gulper eel. Look at, look at him go. I know, Parker, it's ridiculous. It's... it's not... I mean, there's very little footage of gulper eels doing their thing, but he needs to calm down. Like, I've noticed this with a Mega Mouth Shark, too. I'm sure those are somewhere around here. Uh, they just freaking they animate way too often. Like, if they only opened their mouth every, like, you know, 10 seconds or, like, 5 seconds or something, it would look a lot better. Like, they just look like they're just kind of flipping out a bit. The uh, Mega Mouth Shark here, also very cool, uh, kind of the wrong colors. Mega Mouths are kind of brown on the top and white on the bottom. A little bit like a great white shark except brown. Um, these are really cool sharks and they're, uh, they eat plankton. In fact, the game has all three planktonivorous sharks now. It has the whale shark, it has the basking shark, it has the Mega Mouth Shark. They're all weird sharks and I, they're kind of, they're some of my favorites just because, I mean, they're sharks but they eat plankton, it's so cool. They're way better than freaking whales. Wheels are overrated. Anyway, uh, but the, the, f f look at, calm down. He looks like he's chewing things. Mega Mouth Sharks, uh, they're filter feeders. Like, uh, you know, like the basking shark. They just kind of swim with their mouth open most of the time. And they just eat a bunch of mostly plankton and stuff. 
And so, like, maybe if he opened his mouth, like, 90% of the time and closed it, like, uh, 10% of the time, that would look alright, maybe? But, like, he just, he looks like he's chewing. That's not what, that's not what those do. Um, what, what was the other fish we had? So, yeah, when you get CS Vitality, if you're not, if you're not aware, there's a certain set of fish, uh, that you get... Where are they? They're in a weird spot in the list. Yeah, you get the hatchet fish, uh, the sea pig, the blob fish, the mega mouth, and the gulper eel. I guess we have seen all of them then. But yeah, the, the animations in general in the game are kind of silly. Like, you can see with the giant squid floating around, or the colossal squid, rather. They kind of just flail around too much. And, uh, also, blobfish don't actually look like blobs. Um, when they're in the deep sea, because they- Blobfish actually had this gelatinous mass of flesh, and, um, instead of swimming, they just kind of float around. They have- their flesh is just slightly lighter than water, so it kind of bounces around, or less, uh, less dense than water, actually. So they just kind of bounce around at the base of the sea, and they- their appearance on the surface is not what they look like down at the depths. So they look like blobs when you bring them to the surface, because they're not really designed to be up here. But, um, I guess they're more recognizable this way anyway. I'm never, I, I actually couldn't find a video of a blobfish in its native environment. Uh, a lot of the abyssal fish are kind of hard to get, you know, proper images of and stuff. Well, not images, but like videos in their natural habitat. Usually we just get, you know, dead ones. But um, those are those are our fish. They're really good fish, like I said. I just wish the animations on some of them were a little better. I wish they had more um, bioluminescence. Oh, speaking of bioluminescence, uh, gulper eels actually have a bioluminescent tail. Um, gulper eels are actually extremely bad swimmers. They don't really have any of the things they're supposed to have for swimming. So what they do is they have this little tail with a little like lure, kind of like um, you know, kind of like a uh, anglerfish, but fish go for the lure and then they just open their giant freaking mouths and you know, swallow them all up. And they're not good at swimming because they're built really freaking weird, but they, they attract enemy, you know, prey to them and they gulp them all up. And you can see kind of, they kind of tried to make the lure, but it doesn't have any of the bioluminescence. It just looks weird. Um... But yeah, a lot of the a lot of the fish. I think the gold standard for animation is the freaking moon jellyfish. These things are beautiful. Uh, can I zoom in? It's like I said, it's kind of awkward to zoom in on uh, when I'm using the the Nox app players. How I use this on PC, but these things are freaking great. Uh, the Cleones are look alright too. I, I guess the Cleones are also. Well, I don't think they're really supposed to be bioluminescent. I think they just have like weird organs inside them that you know they're transparent and they have this weird red organ in them. Um, I'm not sure if they're bioluminescent or not. But yeah, it looks like DL Vitality is not as insane as I thought it was. It's mostly just CS Vitality. Because what happens... Get out of here. Um, what happens is once you get to CS Vitality, you're really close to 100,000 uh, Mysterious Stone levels. And you get times 5 Vitality for that. You're really close to getting 15... Um, actually, 150,000 Korra levels, which is ridiculous. Uh, which gives you another times five and then cz gives you another times two vitality so you get an amazing amount of vitality bonuses all at once and um usually those like if you get just a times two bonus it goes away after you know a few letters but uh, oh hey i can already get another fish um what fish do i need i think i need one of these i'm working my way towards the collection here i've got three i've got three of the tiers finished uh what do i need oh yeah can't get a beluga whale yet. Um, or dwarf, whatever this is. Dwarf whale. Uh, so I need a bowmouth guitar fish. I like the guitar fish too. Those are really cool. Uh, everybody knows about rays, but the uh, guitar fish, they're related to rays. They don't get a lot of prime time. But yeah, I figured I would just do a little update. People, you know, clamor for videos, and I'm not really sure what to do unless it's an actual update. But uh, I got to see us, and I thought I'd show you all my cool new fish. Uh, also, just for the record, this is my favorite combination of theme settings. I use the, uh, I don't like any of the Coral Light outfits. I use the Snowflake Potion for the Frozen Coral, and the Midnight Ocean gives a really nice blue, and kind of, it gives this really nice glow to around the Coral Light. He looks almost like he's ice. I really like it. And, uh, oh, I also got the Large Crater, finally, in the Expand feature. I got that once I got the third level of collect. 
But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much my update for now. Um, hopefully within just a couple weeks, maybe, I'll have those DL fish, and I'll be able to show those off, and I'll finally, my soul will be free, and I won't have any fish to get. By the way, Abyssrium, I've seen a couple people confirm that July will have a new event. Uh, I kind of figured, you know, we've never really gone more than two months without an event so far. And, uh, I think that's just about perfect timing, one or two months between. So, I expect that, uh... Beginning of the July, I would assume, because, I mean, it's been a long time. But, uh, can't wait to see the new fish. And unlocking new fish is really my favorite part of the game. I like just seeing the fish and everything. But, uh, it's really unlocking, you know, that, that feeling of collecting stuff. That's right, Parker. Is the, uh, is the real draw for me. But, yeah, hope you enjoy seeing those CS fish. They're a lot less impossible than they were a couple months ago. So, uh... In fact, I just saw on Reddit, uh, on the Abyssrium subreddit, it's just r slash Abyssrium, um, somebody got CS Vitality just a couple days ago. That's only been playing for 74 days. Um, I've been playing for about 10 months, I think. Um, not super actively or anything, but um, it's definitely possible for new players to get here. It's not crazy insane, no. Um, if you want tips, you know, as always, you can use my guide. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I had to show. Uh, see you again either when I have DL Vitality for the new fish, when there's a new event, or whenever I have, you know, something else to talk about. Uh, happy collecting fish, everybody!